What's up, Calcane? Today we get this problem, and it's a force field problem. So it wants us to find the work done by the force field on a particle moving from point A to point B. So what do we need for this? Well, we're going to need to convert this force field into terms of T, and we're going to need to find a, uh, like a position vector, you know, or not a position vector, but a vector that describes the path of the particle. So how are we going to do this? Well, this is just like way back to the beginning of Calc 3, but uh, long story short, it's going to be looking like this. So R of T, Going to be equal to, so it's going to be the first one, so it's going to be zero plus uh, the change of slope, you know, so it's two, so it's just going to be 2t, right? This is, starts at zero and it goes up one, so it's just going to be t. This starts at one, so it's going to be one, but then it goes from one to zero, so it's going to be minus t, right? All right, pretty good. Uh, now we need to find the derivative of this for our equation, so our prime of t equal to two, one, negative one, pretty easy. All right, now our integral. So we have this big thing here, and it's an x's and y's and z's, and we need to turn it all into t. So how are we going to do this? So let's say f of t. Uh, I'm not in the glare, am I? Yeah. Okay. So here, f. Oops. Take that off. I don't need it. F of t is going to look like this. So where do we get x? Well, x can come from our terms here. We said that x is equal to 2t, right? And according to this equation that we just made. So what we can say is it's going to be equal to 2t minus y squared, so y is equal to t, so it's going to be minus t squared. t, uh, or just y minus z squared, so it's going to be t, t minus, but then it's z squared, and z, as you can see, is you know, two things, so you got to foil that. So it's going to be t squared minus 2t plus 1. Uh, I'm going to have to bring it down. Uh, this is z minus x squared, so z is equal to minus t. And then minus x squared, so x squared, so it's going to be minus 4t. Right? All right, pretty big thing we got here. But now we get all the terms we need to, to make our uh, integral. So let's go ahead and do that. So integral is going to be equal to, oh, I forgot to include something important. Uh, when I made this, it goes from 0 to 1, right? t. You can see that if t is 0, you're going to get the uh, point zero zero one. And if t is 1, you're going to get the point two one zero, right? So you need to include need to always write this. Boom, t is less than zero. t is greater than zero, less than one. And because you can use that for our integral now. All right, so what do we got? We have this. Let's, let's write in a little bit easier way to see. Negative t squared plus two t. All right, this is gonna be negative t squared. Uh, so it's gonna be minus plus three t. That's really ugly handwriting. I'm sure you guys can read that. Minus one. And then, um, so negative, oh, I forgot squared. Good thing I missed or connected that. Minus t plus one. Boom, okay, so that's one of our vectors. Now we need to dot this. If, uh, if you guys don't know this equation, you need to look it up, figure it out, and uh, understand why it works. And then you dot it with r prime of t, so two, one, negative one. All right, I can't squat down right now. I'm gonna get a chair, watch this, guys. Never seen before content. It's been a long day. Uh, I participated in a research study. My legs are shot right now because I have a hole in my leg, basically. But I'm sitting in a chair now. Look at this. This is amazing. Ooh. Okay, that's all. All right, so dotted. It's pretty easy to do this dot product because it's just simple. So it's going to be negative 2t squared plus 4t. Uh, so then it's just going to be 1. So it's going to be minus t squared plus 3t minus 1. And then negative one, so plus four t squared uh, plus t minus one t, right? Pretty simple. Uh, so we can rewrite this again, zero to one. All right. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing this right. Actually, yeah, I'm sure I'm doing this right. I just gotta believe in myself sometimes, right? Two t squared. Uh, so it's gonna become plus eight t, right? Oh, never mind. Hold on, I'm missing something. This is gonna be one t squared. See, you guys, you gotta, you gotta be careful. You should kind of circle yourself. Then you can be like, oh, right, so you don't miss any of it. Important. And then minus 2t, or minus 2, dt. All right, now this is just a simple integral we can solve. So because it goes from 0 to 1, I'm just going to put in a 1 for all the t's because I know it's at 0, it's going to be 0. And then at 1, it's just going to be 1. So it's going to be 1 third plus uh, 4 minus 2, right? And uh, how do we solve this? Uh, so this is gonna be one third plus two, which is equal to seven thirds. That's the answer.
So uh, that's how you do this big old integral problem. I'm so happy that I'm in this chair, it's fun, all right? I should just do all my homework and uh, do all my videos like this. All right, so that's how you do it. Answer seven thirds. Um, any questions you have, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. Even a full problem like this, I will make a video solving it. All right, good luck on your calico work. Bye guys.